Hello, Andre McConnell here, one of your friendly EdTech specialists. This quick video is to let you know about an upcoming update to Canvas, and it has to do with your assignment submissions. So whenever you go to submit an assignment with the text entry option, and it'll look just like this, where you're going to input your response directly into Canvas, that toolbar is getting an update. So it's going to have a new view that looks just like this, and some new features as well. So just wanted to give you a heads up that this is going to be happening over the weekend. So next week, whenever you click on that text entry option, you're going to see a different toolbar here. The main feature that they've added is an autosave feature. So if you were to input some text into this toolbar, or I'm sorry, this text box here, and then you leave this page, let's say you go and you have to look at something else before you finish your assignment, and then you come back to it, Canvas is going to give you the opportunity to pick up where you left off. So when I click on that same assignment and come back to submit assignment and choose the text entry option, I'll see this box right here. It says we found auto saved content. Do you want to see what it is with the preview? So you can say yes, let me see. and It's going to show you what it had saved. Now from here I can choose to either pick up from where I left off by clicking yes or if I wanted to start over I would click no. This is going to give you one chance so if you click no right here then you leave and come back this is going to be gone. So if you want to use it you have to use it um, the first time. So it's not a perfect auto save but it's more than you had before. So if I go ahead and click yes right here and I can pick right back up where I left off. Now, like I said, it's a new feature. It's not perfect. If you're working on a large assignment and you have a lot of text that you've worked on and you need to leave, I would recommend just uh, highlighting it all and copying it and pasting it into a Word document where you can quickly access it later on. If you didn't know, if you go into your Office 365 and you open a Word doc and you just name it, maybe Quick Notes or Scrap Paper, you can bookmark it. So you see our test student here, Sally, has a Word document in her bookmark bar that's called Quick Notes. So you can bookmark that and quickly have access to that Word document and that's going to auto save and be a, a little more reliable than this new feature that's in Canvas. So if I wanted to take this text, I had a lot of text and I just wanted to copy it into my trusty quick notes document right here in my toolbar then that's going to always be there and you can use that for whatever you want so later on I could go and access it just copying it again and paste it into my assignment and like I said quick access right from your your quick notes um, word doc right here if you want to set something up like that it's pretty easy go into your OneDrive create the document and then bookmark it with the little star in the far right corner of your uh, address bar. So that's the main feature that's being added to um, the content editor in Canvas. You see they also made it a bit more streamlined. So up here you have your first row which is your edit, your basic copy and paste items. View you can now switch into full screen if you want a little more want a little more work. I'm sorry a little more space to work here. And you can switch back. And then your insert features these are going to be duplicated over here on the right so where you can insert links images videos documents you can also do that right here in this section of your toolbar down here this looks the same you can in, um, use the equation editor um, in those classes that call for that you can insert a table you can also insert tables with this menu button over here on the far right and then you can add they added the horizontal line feature right here so if you wanted to separate your work out or organize it a bit more you can put a horizontal line in to your response and go to a different part of the assignment up here you have your formatting options which are going to be duplicated right here some of them the more popular ones are right here in the middle of your toolbar but if you click format you're going to get a lot more options um, to create headers or block your text or align it in a lot of different ways all right then you also have your um, changing your font color and highlighting just like you could before. And then here in the tools tab, you have a word count, which is also going to live in the bottom right hand corner right here. And you can also get to apps that your teacher may have added. So if your teacher has added the YouTube app, um, for example, where you can insert videos into your assignments, that's going to be right here. And it's also in this plug icon 
right here. So you see they've duplicated um, features in a couple different places. Um, the ones you'll use most often are going to be in this toolbar right here. And then this last one is the table tool where you can insert a table um, if you when you need it to. All right. So those are the, the updates. Explore those, those features, those added features there um, when you get a chance. But we wanted to give you a heads up that that's coming and that's going to take effect over this weekend. So next week when you click that text entry option, don't be surprised when you see this different view here. All right. That's all from your MPS EdTech department. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week.